you guys see me. My hair was weird. Are they, but they're both gonna be in DC, right? is now doing hair from home and whatever it was on it before it came to but I don't leave them in that long um, and a half maybe almost um hey you guys so in this video i am pretty much going to just be showing you guys how i make my shrimp sausage and grits um basically i like to use the andouille sausage the smoked sausage or the beef smoked sausage um either way Either one you want is pretty good um, if you like sausages. Um, you can definitely also use like a turkey sausage if you don't want to do beef or pork. But my preference is definitely anzul. Um, my pantry is a mess. That's another video. Um, <laughs> need to get that together. But of course, I am just making sure that my um, oil is hot enough to start preparing um cooking my sausage so you want to go ahead and cook your sausage first because that's the that's the one item that kind of takes the longest um you can use vegetable oil canola oil peanut oil is pretty good too um but you just basically want to fry your sausage to your liking um just i love to use jumbo shrimp so i actually got these jumbo shrimp fresh and here I'm just basically showing you um, how I peel them. Um, I take the whole shell off. Some people keep the tails on. Um, when So yeah, you just want to fry them up to your liking. Um, it really doesn't take that long. 
but yeah um in this clip i'm just basically showing you how you know i'm frying them up um you want just a light crisp to them um yeah So I'm getting ready to make my grits and I use chicken broth. I do not use water anymore. I use chicken broth and you can um, use like a low sodium if you don't want too much salt. I mean, you know, salt in your broth. Um, you can do a low sodium or you can even make your own chicken broth if you want. That's another video. And I also use heavy whipping cream as well and a maybe like a half a stick of butter um depending on how much grits you're making so you just want to go ahead and let that boil um here i'm just pretty much chopping my shrimp in half just so that it's a pretty decent amount of shrimp inside the shrimp and grits um really only my husband and i uh eat the shrimp and grits so you know we i don't have to make a really really huge pot but we you know we enjoy it so hey um so yeah basically um now i'm going to like prepare my um gravy for all my sauce if you want to use better words so you just after you take your sausage out you keep the same pot with the same oil in it um because that builds flavor and i like to use garlic paste so here i'm just basically letting the garlic paste cook down some you can use minced garlic you can use garlic powder um anything you want fresh garlic you can definitely do that as well and you want to add a little bit maybe like a fourth cup or fourth teaspoon of flour the flour basically thickens up this is like what they call a roux um so let that cook and thicken up and so um after that is thickened up i go ahead and add a little bit of chicken broth to uh, my sauce or my gravy for my shrimp now with grits grits is tricky you know if you're not a really a good grits cooker you definitely want to follow the back of the bag or the box um follow and cook it to you know the instructions um but again you get a wonderful flavor when you use um uh chicken broth and heavy whipping cream instead of just plain water um so yeah here's my sauce you pretty much want it thick like that um if you if it's too thick you can always add a little bit more chicken broth to it and i think i did i think i did add a little bit more chicken broth i'm not sure if i put that clip in here but um i just put my sausage back in it and i realized that it was a little bit you know too thick on the thick side um but yeah with my grits i like to use cheese and i use gouda cheese and sometimes i can use like a sharp cheddar cheese as well but gouda cheese is the best this is the thickness that we like if you do not want it that thick you can definitely add more chicken broth you can even add more water um to it if you want you know to make it to your liking so i'm cooking my shrimp and i'm just adding a little bit of old bay seasoning um and i think i added some creole seasoning to that as well um yeah so you definitely want to go ahead and cook that separately and then once that is all cooked up you can definitely go ahead and add your shrimp to the pan and just put it all in there you know the the juice the grease whatever just put it all in it together and um just mix it up and again like i said if you feel like you feel like your gravy is too thick and you want more of a thinner consistency just add more chicken broth or a little bit of water because you don't want to take your flavor away and of course guys you know taste as you go you're the cook you want to make sure things you know are to your liking so my husband wanted some cheddar bay biscuits um basically i just followed the recipe on the back 
Um, I did not put any cheddar cheese in these. Um, I just went ahead and just made the biscuits as they are. Just follow the instructions. Um, put them in the oven, let them cook. And then it also comes with like a butter packet that you mix. And so here I'm just pretty much, you know, adding the butter to the biscuits um, freshly out of the oven um, once they cook. And then that's that. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I thought I would go ahead and do an opening of my vlog. If I'm whispering, it's because I am at work in my office and these walls are so thin um you hear everybody on the phone y'all probably can hear somebody right now talking um through the damn wall um but anyway um y'all like my flowers back there and my plants um so that plant my co-workers gave me and my flowers my husband gave me um so yeah but anyway, yeah, I didn't come here for that. Um, yeah, I am starting another vlog. I um, just wanted to come by and do an intro. I am Candice Latoya, for those who do not know. Um, if this is not your first time here and you've been here before and not subscribe, I would definitely appreciate it if you subscribe and leave comments. Um, yeah, basically on my channel, I pretty much talk about anything, but it's it's about my life it's about um beauty it's about you know must have how to all those different wonderful things um and just living life um trying to become the next influencer so yeah um i'm actually just taking a little break right now um i am i've been so busy um i got a promotion here at work and I'm very 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 excited about that i feel like it was really a long time coming it was very much overdue um so i'm excited about my new um position here at my job um yeah i'm just i know that it's gonna be um more demanding um anytime you do anything that's elevating you to the next level you already know that it's going to be demanding more of your time of your skill set um but in the same breath you know it, it's it's well worth it i don't know why this camera looks so dark Yeah, I don't know what just happened with the light, but um, like I said, I just know that with this promotion, I'm, I'm really excited to get started on it. My actual official day is um, on Monday to start doing the new um, duties of my position, my new promotion. Um, so yeah, I'm excited about that. I can't complain. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this little vlog um not sure what i'm gonna actually be bringing to you but i'm going to be bringing you some things <laughs> hopefully next time um you guys see me my hair will be done i have an appointment this weekend to get my hair done um i may bring you guys along with me i don't know uh, i may just show you the after effect of it um but yeah so hope you guys enjoy my blog and see you in the next clip
I decided to take a trip to Tarjay. Haven't actually been in there in quite some time. I normally just do an online order and just have them to bring it out to my car. But this particular day, I felt like going in. I needed a um, wireless charger for my phone while at work. And then I seen these beautiful little bags. These are so cute. And I think they were like 20% off. Um, they were like 40 bucks and then I also found some dupes for skims um, And so I decided to pick up a few of those items And yeah, I always love the graphic tees So um, yeah, I just picked out a few of those it's The next day and I don't know actually know what day this is but I decided to go ahead and pick up the camera um I am getting ready to just woke up. I have to blow dry my bundles. Um, getting ready to go get my hair done. So, um, yeah, I'm just showing y'all that I'm getting ready to um, get ready to go get my hair done and everything. So, yeah, that'll be fun. Uh, I'm gonna see if I can take y'all with me. Um, my stylist is now doing hair from home, so. You know, sometimes they're kind of funny about that um, recording in someone else's home. So if she lets me, I will. If not, I if not, I will come back and show you guys um, my final results. But right now, I'm just going to just start blow drying my bundles. Um, it's always good to wash, condition, condition your bundles before you get them installed. Um, what I did was I washed, I washed it last night. Let it air dry a little bit and then now the day of is not quite dry yet all the way so i'm just gonna um it's dry but i'm just gonna blow dry it and make sure that it's fluffy and you know fully fully dry before she install it in my head so <clears throat> again it's always good to just go ahead and wash your bundles because you know just get that whatever it was on it before it came to you get that on you don't want that in your head, especially if you're going to be leaving your bundles in for, you know, some weeks or whatever. Um, and the way my stylist does her sew-ins, I, I could honestly leave my sew-ins for like two months if I wanted to. But I don't leave them in that long. Um, I leave them in for probably a good month. And then I'm ready to take take the hair out, wash my scalp scratch my scalp and kind of let my hair breathe for about a week or two and then probably go back to something else um so it's getting a little right now it's springtime so it's still kind of, we still have our cool days especially like when it rains and stuff um but i've been kind of trying to work out a little bit more i am definitely on my weight loss journey again and i will definitely have a separate video about that um, the things that I'm doing, the supplements that I'm taking, medication and all that type of stuff. I'll do a separate video for that, but, um, I have lost, um, a decent amount of weight for the short period of time. have been, um, on my journey. So, I've been on my journey, um, the end of March would be two months. So, I've been, um, on my journey for like a month in, what, and a half maybe almost um so yeah but anyway let me get to my bundles and i will be back um in the next clip <laughs> 